Hi everyone, welcome to Tron Cool. Today we're going to learn about how to freeze and vote for a super representative on tronscan.org. Now, it's very simple to do so if you just follow along with me. I'm, I've already created a previous video on how to create and manage your wallet. However, this video is about freezing and voting for super representatives. I'm already logged into my wallet and I'm going to scroll down the page here. And we're going to follow to here, Tron Power. Tron Power, TRX can be frozen to gain Tron Power and enable additional features. For example, with Tron Power, you can vote for super representatives. You can gain bandwidth or energy as well by doing this. Frozen tokens are locked for a period of three days. During this period, the frozen TRX cannot be traded. After this period, however, you can unfreeze the Tron and trade it. Now, it just takes three days for that Tron to unfreeze, and then, but during the, after you have frozen the Tron, you can immediately vote for a super representative. Either one of bandwidth or energy can be acquired with each freeze. You cannot acquire both resources at the same time. When a user unfreezes a certain resource, his previous votes will be completely voided. If a user would like to vote using the remaining Tron power, he will have to perform his voting operations all over again. So, you, as you can see here, I've already frozen some and it shows up down here. My balance, I've already frozen 400 Tron. Um, and I can unfreeze it after the, se after the 17th here. It's today's the 14th, so I have to wait for three days to be able to unfreeze that Tron. Now, for you to freeze Tron, you would just click the blue button freeze and I have tr 20 Tron left so let's just put 20 tokens frozen successfully frozen 20 Tron and there you have it and when the period of three days is up, you just click the red button here, unfreeze. It'll let you know you can unfreeze it. If you can't unfreeze it, it'll tell you you can't unfreeze it. You have to wait three days. Like so. But it does give it back after the freeze time. Um, this is highly profitable because... A lot of users, they like to invest in projects using the votes. So, you know, let's let's go see. Let's go see what's up with the super representatives. Let's go vote for someone. So we're going to go vote for a super representative. We could click that link right there. And we have a list here of super representatives that we can vote for. Now some popular ones and if I can remember they they reward some Tron with some but sesame seed here rewards you with seed and the sesame pro sesame seed project is uh, go seed it now with their project they did very successful in my opinion they opened up a platform on social media so that users can send them their friends and followers tokens or Tron and it's really cool because the API, right? You just use your Twitter account to log in to go see it, and that's your wallet. You just log in with Twitter, and that's your wallet. Simple as that. I thought that was pretty cool, pretty ingenious. Now, all you have to do to send Tron with Sesame Seed is by saying, hey, at go see it in a status message, and then include how much Tron plus 20 Tron or plus 20 likes or t plus 20 coin um I, I think you get it there and it really opened up a lot of people to the tron ecosystem they, they got a great project and like i said if you got a good project it's definitely worth it to become a super representative Se sesame seed is a a great super representative to for for this video to even mention they reward you with their token seed which in return can be traded on the decentralized exchange or the trex market right on tronscan now you just vote let's vote for sesame seed now we don't have to vote all of our votes and well 
too, let's get let's open Sesame Seeds team page so we can see who we're voting for, you know, so you could get a better idea. And this is what's great about the decentralized uh, community here. This is all written on GitHub and pulled from Tronscan. And uh, maybe it's too much to explain in this video, but f from a dis decentralized point of view, it was a great idea to add democracy to blockchain. Fantastic. Like, it makes so much sense. But... We'll get we'll get into that we'll get into that in another video. So here we are. We're on Sesame Seeds team page. Uh, their intro their introduction. Sesame Seed exists to provide fair and equal participation to the Tron community in the super representative process. Sesame Seed intends to conduct itself as a collective instrument of its community and fairly distribute the rewards it generates across its membership. And this is the cool thing about voting for super representatives. What you're actually voting for is the ability to give that super representative the position to solve blocks on the blockchain that allows them to be rewarded for solving those transaction blocks. And each each block solved, which you can go watch right on the front page of Tron Scan, each each block each block solved rewards the super representative thirty two Tron. Now this is why they want you to vote for them and why they give you incentives, right? Because they want to make money, but they want they need your votes to be able to make money, and it, it makes total sense. It's just a democratic way to look at it. Uh, in the traditional systems, what has happened is. Uh, transaction malleability, um, network takeover. People, the one of the main problems with Bitcoin, it was, um, it's fixed now. But now that's why the transaction times are so long. It's because um, transaction malleability. Uh, Fifty-one percent of the network takeover, all that. What what this super representative node voting system does it prevents someone from being able to take control of the whole network now essentially whoever has the most tron whether it be trillions and trillions they could outvote someone but it's so dispersed that they can't do that it doesn't make sense but the super representatives aren't going to get voted for if they're not providing anything any value to the community itself so that's why this whole system of voting is super Super, super cool, in my opinion, for a blockchain uh, ecosystem. It, it just makes total sense. With the virtual, the virtual, um, uh, what is it? The virtual, uh, I'm just getting too hyped up here. But uh, the virtual, uh, the, the, they're going to be providing a virtual server type based system through the blockchain itself and I'm trying to figure out a way to explain it to make it simple for those that are not as tech savvy however you know I'm I'm just going to keep this video straight about voting but just to get you hyped up on why this is a cool system for for why why this makes all makes sense um you can research about transaction malleability or what happened with mount gox back in i think it was 2013 i've been a part of crypto since 2011 oh, yeah i was buying bitcoin when i was 60 and i haven't been hyped up about tron or about a cryptocurrency since i've been hyped up about bitcoin i was hyped up about litecoin and then i kind of got a little hyped up about ethereum but then tron really hyped me up after i saw this whole whole like democratic republic process of nodes <laughs> it's just makes sense it's but you know it's cool so yeah we have our sesame seed team here and you can you can get an idea that they're real people you know you really have real people backing this product and it's safe to say that it's you know it's worth voting for them you don't ever lose your charm voting for someone though you can always take your tron out to stop voting so let, let's let's vote a little bit for sesame seed we're gonna 
click that click start click here to start voting button it was right here and then I clicked it I didn't say it but you may not have seen it so we'll go here and let me expand my little view here oh I guess my screen's a little obscured anyways we're gonna go here and apparently come on now there we go okay let's see if the mobile looks a little better whoa no mobile doesn't even show me the votes all right anyway you can see my vote count go up there right there votes remain 126 I, I there's a positive button over here, but my screen's obscured. Let me see if I can do something here to make this a little more. Yeah, I can't get it. Here, make it super small. Come on now. Chrome's giving me issues. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that better, but no, it's not looking too good. But yeah, I voted right there. The voting button's right on the right here. It's obscured in my... Oh, there we go. Now you guys can see it. All right, cool. So yeah, I can vote there. I can click the po positive button. I can click the negative button and put it down. Um, You know, simple as that. Another one, Tron Wallet. I heard they pay out. I heard they pay out in Tron. So let's give them some votes. And right at the top here, we'll just click submit votes. And we're good. Thank you for voting. Your votes are success successfully submitted. They will take effect when the next voting cycle starts. You may redistribute your votes anytime you like. Cool. So we just click start voting again. And I can take this down and vote for them. Go here. Be like, I'm cool. Thank you for voting. Donate. It's right there. <laughs> Anyways. Alrighty. But yeah, like I said, when you go vote for a super representative. You know, go go research them. Get a good idea of who they are. This voting system helps a lot for blockchain technology. Um, yeah, well, anyways, you know, I think that concludes this video. Thank you for wa watching. You know, hit subscribe, like this page, click the bell button. You know, peace. You have a great day. See you here. We're out.